We want to get to our breaking news now regarding this attack by U.S. forces uh, within Syria. Again, this was reported by the Syrian news agency and by Reuters and the Associated Press. Uh, let's get to our own Richard Angle reporting from Baghdad, who I think has some new information. And Richard, what do you know about this? Uh, David, Syrian officials have told NBC News that they believe U.S. helicopters crossed into Syria today and carried out this air assault. They say that four American helicopters were involved in this operation near the border with Iraq. Two of those helicopters remained in the air. The other two landed, at which stage, this is all according to Syrian officials, around eight American soldiers or, or commandos got out of the helicopters and conducted this raid, killing at least seven people. Four others were wounded. They say that several of the people who were killed were members of a single family and that the assault apparently took place on a house that was under construction. U.S. military officials here in Baghdad say they have no information at this point. Uh, senior military officials that I've spoken to said they have no comment. They also quite revealingly, quite revealingly said there will be no comment on this subject. The U.S. U.S. Special Operations Forces, these are the, the most elite of the U.S. Uh, armed services, carry out these kind of operations, although not in, in Syria until now, allegedly, and they often do it without any kind of confirmation at all. Since this summer, the Special Operations Forces have been taking a much more aggressive stance. This is the kind of thing that we've been seeing them carry out across the border into Pakistan and today, according to Syrian officials, also in Syria. And Richard, what is the significance of this particular sort of border town along the Iraqi border? Has there been much activity, at least uh, inside in the, on the Iraqi side of this border in, in recent weeks or months? U.S. military officials today said that Syria continues to be the main source of foreign fighters coming into this country, coming into Iraq, although violence nationwide has been down. It is down about 80 percent compared to a year ago. Generally, these kind of raids, and still no confirmation from any American officials, are only carried out when they have specific intelligence about a high-value target. And according to Syrian officials, there was this error assault, uh, American helicopters crossing into Syria, entering Syrian airspace and carrying out this assault, but no comment from U.S. officials. It would be significant because it expands the war, it expands a, uh, a war that targets militants, al-Qaeda, other kind of insurgent leaders, generally targeted in Iraq, across the border into Syria. It would be an escalation. Richard Engel from NBC News in Baghdad with some terrific reporting as always, Richard. Thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it. And again, the headline being that the Syrian officials have now confirmed to NBC News and to Richard Engel that uh, four U.S. helicopters were involved in this uh, assault in a Syrian border town. But uh, for the first time, at least publicly that we know of, for the first time, U.S. forces have actually expanded uh, the war into Syria, not being afraid, of course, to go into a Syrian border town. Two U.S. helicopters, of course, according to Richard, uh, staying afloat. Uh, two U.S. helicopters on the ground. Uh, there are reports as many as uh, eight people, eight Syrians killed. We will have more information for you in the hours ahead. You're watching MSNBC.